Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today I'm cooking for you meatloaf with lightened up mash. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll need some ground turkey or turkey sausage, one egg, one half cup of panko breadcrumbs, one half cup of milk or half and half or even heavy cream, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, salt, You'll also need some beef broth, about a cup and a half, a large bowl for mixing all of your ingredients, and you'll need a loaf pan, like the kind you would put a loaf of bread in. All right, we're gonna start by preparing the meatloaf. Here, I've taken that turkey sausage and just broken it up. I'm adding one whole egg, adding in the half cup each of panko and half and half or milk, seasoning with the salt, the pepper, the onion powder, and the garlic powder. And now I'm just gonna mix it all until everything is nice and well incorporated. Now I'm gonna spray my loaf pan with actually some Baker's Joy cooking spray that has the flour in it, cause I wanna make sure that this meatloaf does not stick. Now I know it looks kinda like batter, but trust me, it's gonna form into a beautiful loaf. Go ahead and spread it in the pan, place it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. While the meatloaf is baking, we're gonna prepare the gravy. I got about a cup and a half of beef broth and two tablespoons of butter in a pot. I'm adding in one half teaspoon of xanthan gum and about two tablespoons of heavy cream. Incorporating all of that together and then adding seasonings like black pepper, salt if needed, make sure you taste before you salt, and then any additional seasonings that you may need. If the gravy is too thick, just add a little bit more beef broth to smooth it out. Taste and set to the side. Now it's time for that lightened up mash. We have two bags of frozen rice cauliflower, 12 ounces each, some heavy whipping cream, and some salt. You'll also need some butter as well. I'm gonna place those two bags of rice cauliflower in the microwave, cause they're the steamable kind, until they're cooked. Then I'm putting both bags into a blender. I have a high speed blender, adding about a quarter cup of cream and blending until it's nice, smooth, and pureed. I also added salt. You should taste and add your salt to taste. And you're all done. Once that meatloaf has come out of the oven, I'm going to spread on the gravy, make it nice and pretty. And guess what guys? You are all done. I served my meatloaf with mash with a side of asparagus and it was absolutely delicious. You save on carbs, you save on calories, and you just make this wonderful comfort dish quite a bit lightened up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope that you like this video just enough to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload. Thanks again for watching and I will see you tomorrow.